Okay, so... Okay, so we have this uh, scene, right? And I'm gonna teach you right now, or I'm gonna show you some ways in how I made this... Um, yeah, this texture. So, what I did is... <laughs> okay, I'm stupid. Yeah, what I did is, uh, when I go to my, my channels and layers, you can see that I have loads of layers, right? So the first thing, for first... Hold on... I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff. Okay. So the first thing I did is I get a, a full white layer in here and put it at a 50% opacity. So just get your color picker here and well, I don't like this on this PC. Where is my... Come on. Can't even find the stuff. Okay, okay, your rectangular tool and just paint this white. Okay, and then put it at here, where are my layers? At a opacity of 50%. And this is just because we work with uh, high and low details. And if you put it at 50%, you can still go with lighter on top to make it actually higher, right? So that's why we do this at the 50%. So you can still go higher and you can also go darker. Cool. Um, after this, I got some some free brushes on the internet. So I just went to, I think I just went to Google and Photoshop truck brush or tire, tire brush, something like that. And I got at Brush Easy, I think. You can yeah, get it for free. I think this is it, what I had, what I got. Cool. So that actually, well, worked quite, quite well. And then food tracks. I also got there, I, th I think it's from the same guy, just um, Photoshop, food, tra food tracks. Um, the only thing, I had to change some stuff with this food tracks though. So if I'm gonna go here into my brush and I'm gonna open my food trucks, you can, s uh, tracks. You can see that these footprints, these brushes, um, are actually a little bit. See what they do? Like they just make it a real brush without any spacing in between. So um, that's totally fine. You can change that. When you go to your brush, you have um, yeah, you have your brush here. And well, you can scatter it, you can smooth it and all that good stuff. And you're also able to uh, put some spacing in between. So um, if you go to brush tip size, you can use uh, some spacing and you can see that it actually spaces. All right, so put it at a decent size, spacing. Make your size of your feet a little bit smaller. We want it black as well instead of uh, you know, white, cool. And then I did some shape dynamics and some scattering. So first shape dynamics is, um, I had some, sh uh, not size jitter, but angle jitter. So the size of the boot always stays the same, right? But the angle of the boot might change on the steps you take. See, yes, like, I'm just doing a straight line right now. You can see some difference in the angles. That's what I did. I did scattering. And with scatter, when I do it very, um, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing straight, straight lines right now. You can see that it scatters around. So don't do this too high though. Just keep it, keep it minimal, very minimal. Uh, just to get some randomness in here. And also I did dual brush, which is actually, it gives a very nice effect. So if we get one of these in here, just a little bit with the dots or whatever, um, you can change the size a little bit, but you can see what it does. Like to every one of them, no, oh, this is a bit too much. Uh, blah. You gotta find like a nice middle ground, or maybe even do another, maybe even do another one, right? Let's take this one. Then you can see that every one of them has a little bit of a 
randomness in it. So spacing. See, this one loses like the bottom. This one loses here on the side, which actually happens when you walk on snow, right? It's not just your foot gets stamped in there like, like uh, it always does. It's not like a paint or anything like that. So cool. Um, that was that thing that I did, and um, to get the the snow like lower here is just get a go to my layer. Just brush it in like a little bit darker. I think I had it way darker. Oh no, here not. But yeah, you can always um, when you think these tire tracks or foot like tire tracks are too um, like too deep. You can always change the opacity a bit lighter, and then it will be, uh, you know, over snowed. So, <laughs> yeah, it's really fun to work with this stuff, right? Um, after this, you just um, like after you put some randomness in it. I think I also put something here. I I don't know what else I did. Like, I got a little spray brush to get these. Um, you can see it here, to get these things laying on top of here, right? I just did it with a little spray brush. Um, yeah, and at the end you just uh, put everything together, uh, merge them, and make sure, and then just change these um, values. And I think I just did it with a, um, so let's say we wanna make this our, our color map also, right? So this is a depth map, then you save it as a depth, or um, displacement map, then you go in here, uh, you just duplicate it or save it again so you don't uh, throw away anything. And I go to uh, curves and I put my curves like this. And here I choose a color that I like. Right? So I have this brighter and this darker. <laughs> like that's the only thing. And if you want it even more dark, so I couldn't really reach that point that I could make it like e this even a little bit darker, then just put here a little bit darker, like another layer. So um, yeah, that's actually how I did it and uh, just play around with it. And by the way, I did this all with my mouse. I My tablet is at my uh, at my home and not at this place. So uh, yeah, no excuses, right? So uh, I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, good luck.